the Staten Island Advance wrote a story about the program yesterday afternoon, and the reporter shared the comments of some of the people who participated in the events of 1970, uh, expressing their concern that not a lot has changed in some ways. What was your reaction to yesterday's program, and what are your thoughts now on the events of 1970? Um, about the program itself or about the paper? Let's start with the program, with, with yesterday's program. Um, in terms of the program itself, I was very pleased with the program uh, as it went along, setting the tone, first of all, with the uh, documentary that went with it really helped to remind us, I think, and fill in some of the gaps in terms of the historical perspective of uh, when the event happened. Um, I think just as important, though, as the documentary was the access that I had just prior to that, to the written documents, that for me really gave me additional information that I did not have before. So in the last 48 hours, it's been a real learning experience in terms of understanding what happened with the incident. And yes, I did express um, my pain yesterday in, in terms of what happened afterwards and the students being expelled. But I think that was needless in, um, because I didn't have all the facts. And had I had that, I would not have had to carry that pain like that for 40 years. Hmm. Um, what was true is that they, I think there was a disparate response uh, between the uh, African American students and, and the white students just the year before. That doesn't change. That, to me, spoke to the mindset of the people uh, at that time. However, what I didn't know is that the, the college support us more than we thought, more than we knew at the time. Had we seen the documents, had they shared that with us, I think it could have prevented a lot of the misunderstanding and a lot of the grief that occurred. Hmm. Um, and we wouldn't have had to carry it this long. In terms of coming back, not just the panel yesterday, but meeting with the leaders in the school today, I am more than heartened that our dreams of before have come to fruition in terms of having people on campus that do look, look, look like us, that are in leadership positions, um, and that are open and welcoming and wanting a diverse population here mm -hmm. and making opportunities. There are lots of things going on in the world in the world that make it difficult for African American students to come to any college. Um, and those are things that are being experienced by students across the country. But I think the school is more than stepping forward to try to um, meet those challenges and to reach out and welcome people um, who are wanting to go. And I think they can't do it alone. And I'm so glad, it feels like our family that's been estranged all this time that we came back, we had our reunion, we cleared the air of misunderstandings, we gained new knowledge, and now it's like we're holding our hands together and it's like we have lots to offer and we can really go out and help the college itself. We can be their ambassadors. We can reach out and help to let other folks know about the opportunities that are there and support the college and support the students that are here today. Didn't have that connection before. No. And I think with the new information, um, with the new leadership, I am very heartened by what I see and hear here, and I'll be back part of the Wagner family again. Wonderful. So, thank you. You're quite welcome.